Prager, what do you think is the number one challenge that your customers are facing? How is Nokia helping them address it? Well, automation is one of the key areas our customers are facing. We have layered 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, 6G, and the complexity of the networks are growing, and automation and cloud nativeness to be able to deliver the network capabilities is one of the key challenges that our customers are facing today. What's been the response from your customers, but also your ecosystem, your partners, to your solutions in this area? Yeah, we've had a very strong response in 2024 from our customers. If you look at just on the core side of things, the need for cloud nativeness, and we've uh, you know had major major deployments uh, and customer swaps you know in 2024. So there's been a lot of uh, response there on private wireless, for example. You know we've got up to 850 customers now and growing at double digit. If you look at on the API front, we are up to now 55 customers and partners. So that's accelerating in a big way, and there's a strong recognition of our capabilities in automation, which is bringing generative AI, observability, and agentic AI into the mix of things to be able to provide these capabilities. Automation, autonomous networks, we're hearing a lot about that. At what point do you think your customers are going to move to that level four autonomous networking environment where really the network can run itself without human beings getting involved? I think it's a journey. I mean, if you look at where the industry is today, it's somewhere a little bit greater than two. There are some that are higher and some that are trying to get there, and it's going to be a journey. But I think there's a strong desire to get there, and what you need for this is being able to bring in not only the generative AI and AI capabilities, but a lot of security and observability to be able to drive these large language action models and intent-based automation. And I think over the next two or three years, you will see the rise of this autonomous network framework being adopted more and more in the industry. Let's step back. What is the biggest hurdle to overcome with a tier one carrier who's thinking about deploying an autonomous network? Is it the technology or is it trust? I think it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of both. Uh, you know, the technology needs to evolve, but also you know, your ability to actually trust the capabilities of this automation that is being built. Uh, and you want to make sure that you build it in a responsible way because you're using a lot of AI capabilities, generative AI capabilities. And so it is a notion of about technology evolution, but also building trust to be able to adopt it into the network. Well, I think Nokia has a pretty high level of trust with its customers, doesn't it? Yes, we do. I think we're leading the pack in this area in the autonomous network framework. You know, we've got customers now adopting many of the principles that we have built uh, and capabilities that we have built, and we're seeing an acceleration in this as we, as I talked about in 2024, we just saw great adoption, and now we're starting to see more adoption going forward.